Hi, welcome to the Commissioner's Report. I'm your host, Jeff Foley, and I'm joined by District 5 Commissioner Neil Cumbie and Todd Bond, Deputy County Manager for Polk County. We're going to talk about impact fees today. So, generally speaking, what are impact fees? So, impact fees are really a one-time fee on new development within the county, and then those fees are used to help address whatever impact that development might be. So an, an example would be transportation impact fees, for example. If you have a new house, the people in that house are going to be driving on county roads. So there's an impact there. There's additional capacity that's needed because of that new house. And so that impact fee that they pay for the construction of that new house is then used to address the future capacity needs on those roads widening roads, building new roads, things like that. So kind of helping to pay for the infrastructure. Right. Okay. Right. So I understand there was a transportation impact fee study done recently. What was the impetus behind that being done? Go ahead, John. Okay. okay. Yeah, so, so we had a discussion in 2022 about transportation funding, transportation expenses, and how we were going to address the needs of transportation and roads in the future. And out of that came a discussion on how we charge transportation impact fees. Back in 2022, we charged impact fees in five different districts around the county and different zones that were drawn off to say, if you pay an impact fee here, that's where it's gonna be used. So these were separate zones that you would collect revenue from impact fees and then utilize that revenue within that zone. So, but we charged the same amount in each district. And so that discussion really came to a point where it was the commissioners gave us guidance to look at a new study to see if we could charge different amounts in each zone. So as an example, we all know the Northeast area, Polk County, is the heaviest growth area, a lot of growth, a lot of infrastructure needs. Shouldn't we charge more in the Northeast than we do in the Southern portion of the county where there's not as much growth? So that was really the discussion last year, and then out of that came the desire to do a new transportation study to see if we could do that and change our fees for that. Our goal is fairness. So when we got the results of the new study, uh, there was, everything seemed okay except for warehouse and logistics, which they were recommending that we lower the, the, you know, impact fee on warehouse and logistics. That did not seem to work well for me, for Commissioner Braswell, Lindsay, Wilson, and Santiago because, you know, we're seeing the explosion of warehouse and logistics in the county. We're seeing the truck traffic on the roads. We know, you know, how much uh, weight they're carrying, how much, you know, more wear and tear results from a car, uh, from a truck and trailer than from that car when they're carrying 80,000 pounds and they're 53, 75, 80 feet long. You take up a whole turn lane with a truck. So we're like, this doesn't make any sense. So we have this dilemma. And you got this study out here that says, here's what you should charge. And we're like, no, this doesn't work for us. We want to be fair. We want to be equitable. And we do not think that, you know, lowering that fee makes any sense with the explosion that we have of the warehouse logistics and the truck traffic. Uh, and it, what, what I found out, and really didn't know, and I guess I did know it intuitively, that all trips are charged the same. If it's a smart car, that trip is viewed basically the same as a 80,000 pound Peterbilt pulling a 53 foot trailer. Well, that won't work. We've got to find a different way to, to assess the cost to these facilities. And when you look at some of the warehouses that have been built, and you look and you see they're a half a mile long and a thousand doors that they can back up to, you know, you think, oh boy, this thing's going to really generate some traffic once it gets work. People are building those because they know trucks are going to come. They know that there is, are, are, you know, there's merchandise goods that are going to go in those warehouses. So you can imagine the kind of impact that's going to have when these things are leased up. And some of them aren't yet. Some of them are still under construction. Some of them have just been completed. Uh, but as they continue to get leased up, that truck traffic's only going to increase. And we need a way to deal with that. And when you look at uh, the uh, numbers that I saw here, uh, the estimate with is 23-24, fiscal year 23-24, under the new scenario, we have like 23 million total all impact fees from all, all categories, all classes, all types of uses. But of that, only 233,000 is, uh, is from warehouse logistics. And I don't know how else you capture those trucks, uh, especially when you're just looking at them, it's just a trip. You know, so we have to differentiate and we got to find a way that makes sense where we know we're on solid ground that to differentiate between the truck and the passenger car or the, the pickup truck because they're not the same and they shouldn't be treated the same. And uh, we've got a real challenge with the roads and the, uh, you know, the, the traffic that's on them now. We're looking for ways to 
to fund increases or even improvements where, you know, to handle the increased traffic. And, you know, this is one way we've got to do it. We've got to make sure we capture this and we get it right. So the way it's been in the past, am I accurate to say that a mom driving her kid to Aldi's to pick up some groceries, that trip is treated the same as an 18-wheeler that's loaded up traveling over our roads? That's the same. Right. It's yeah. exactly the same. So and, and that can't be. Right. So I'll just add to what the commissioner said. The, these studies are usually based on a publication. Um, it's an ITE publication, which stands for International Traffic Engineering, I believe, or International Transportation Engineer Publication. And back in 2019, when the transportation s study was done for impact fees, we did a full-blown impact fee study back then, but the transportation piece, what it looks, like, looks at is how many trips, based on this ITE study, how many trips per category? So a single family residence, how many trips do you assume is gonna be made by the family back and forth on county roads? A, a retail commercial category, how many trips are gonna be made to and from that, that a place? And then industrial warehouse, how many trips are gonna be made to the warehouse? What makes sense from what, and what Commissioner Cumbie is saying and the other commissioners are saying is when you count that trip, it would seem like you could count and say, You've had 50 semi-truck trips and 100 car sedan trips, but they don't do that. They just count it all as one trip in the IT publication. And that's what these impact fee studies have been based on all along is this, this publication that just says it's one trip. Right, so, so, so where I'm coming from, and I think where some of the other commissioners, or maybe all the other commissioners are coming from, is that those studies are flawed. Uh, if you look at those trips as being the same, the mom in the in the VW Bug is the same as the Peterbilt pulling the 53 footer, you know, then that that's that's flawed and it needs to be uh, corrected. So we're trying to find a way, and like I say, that's the dilemma is to find out how can we do this because right now trucks pay more for their license plate than than a car. They mm -hmm. ten times probably they pay a huge fuel tax, uh, you know, because of the the weight, because of the the wear and tear on the road from them. But it doesn't figure in when we're doing impact fees. We're treating them exactly like you know, passenger vehicles, and that uh, is, is flawed, and we need to find a way to fix it, and that's our goal. And Todd and, and others are working on that right now, but I knew probably some people saw this discussion a few weeks ago, and I thought it was important that we talk about that, you know, why we're doing this and why we're trying to come up with a better way, because really we do want to treat everybody fair, and I do not believe with the study we got that it's fair at this point. So the plan moving forward would be that we, we look at doing all that background study work in some way, uh, contract or with maybe a traffic engineer's um, a vendor of some kind that can go out there and do a study to say, just what I said before, here's a warehouse, count the number of semis going across, count the number of cars going across, and then we'll have that study back up, because statute says your transportation impact fee studies have to be based on a study. And so then we would have a study We'd have to create it. We would have a study that, that could possibly go down the route that the, the Commissioner Cumbie is talking about. And obviously we know that tractor trailers have a larger impact on our infrastructure than a four-wheel vehicle. That's not something the study needs to look at, is it? Uh, it does. I mean, that's, that's the whole idea behind, you know, pulling them in where we can make sure that we're, we're treating everybody, you know, fairly. And the reason we would either maintain or, or increase their fee is because of the fact that, you know, one truck can take up a turn lane uh, that would, you know, serve five or six passenger vehicles. Those things cost money to build. So what we are experiencing that right now, like I say, if you, if you want to see it, go out around 33 and I-4, go out to Kathleen Road and I-4, uh, you won't have to look very far to see the trucks. And we got to have them. I mean, they're bringing stuff that we all need every day, but we need to account for it. We need to make sure that we're treating them the same way we're treating homeowners. Makes perfect sense. Is there anything you'd like to add to the conversation? Nope. Uh, I Good. I can't think of anything either. Okay. Well, I appreciate you guys being here today. Thank you for the time. All right. Appreciate it. That's it for today's episode of the Commissioner's Report. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll catch you soon. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe and like our social media.